Okay, good morning class. For today, I will discuss our next topic, which is about arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is basically the sum of all the terms in a given arithmetic sequence. So how are we going to solve problems that involves arithmetic series? Like this one. What is the sum of the first 50 positive integers? So first, let's try to illustrate what are those positive integers, 50 positive integers. Definitely, we will start with 1. Oh. 1, 2, 3, until 50. Okay, and the problem is asking us about the sum of all of these terms. That means 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 50. Okay, so we can actually do that manually or we can use the formula. The formula is S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Okay. So what are these variables? n is basically the number of terms from 1 to 50. a sub 1, we already know that. That's the first term. And a sub n is the last term. Okay, I will repeat that. n is the number of terms in a given arithmetic series. Here, our n are the numbers from 1 to 50. How many are those? That's 50. Okay? You count all of those terms, that's 50. And then the next is a sub 1. a sub 1 is the first term. And a sub n is the last term in the sequence. Okay? So all we need to do is just plug in those uh, numbers into the variables. Um, this will be equal to 50 over 2 uh, times um, 1 plus uh, 50. Okay? So this is equal to 25 times 51. Okay? So 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. 1 plus 50 is equal to 51. And 25 times 51 is equal to 1,275. So that is the answer to this problem. Okay, so let me give you another example. In problem number two, we have here, what is the sum of the first 200 positive even integers? So to answer that question, we need to have this formula. So S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus n a sub n. So we need to know n, we need to know a sub 1, and we need to know a sub n. a sub n, of course. So how many terms are in the sequence? We're talking about 200 positive even integers, so n is 200. a sub 1, what's the first even, uh, what's the first positive even integers? That is 2, okay. And what's the 200th term in that sequence? So that's 2. 2 is the first. Uh, 4 is the second. Uh, 6 is the third. 8 is the fourth. So to get the 200th term, all we need to do is just multiply 200 by 2. So 2 times 200, that will give us 400. Okay? So that means from 2... To 200, or to 400 rather, there are 200 terms. Okay? So let's just substitute everything. This will be equal to mm, n is 200 over 2 times a sub 1 is 2 plus 400. This is equal to 100 times 402 okay and that is equal to 40200 or 40,200 that's the answer okay so let's proceed to the third example this time our problem is this one so what's the sum of the odd integers from 1 to 300 so when we talk about odd integers these are 1 3, 5, 7, until 300. Of course, 300 is not an odd integer. It's an even integer. But the number before that is odd, which is 299. Uh -huh. So that means we will add 1, 3, uh, 5, 7, 9, until 299. Of course, we will still be using this formula. 
first we need to know n, we need to know a sub 1, and we also need to know a sub n. Okay, a sub 1 is obvious, that's 1. a sub n is also obvious, that's 299. n is what? How many are there from, how many terms are there from 1 to 299? So we just simply need to divide 300 by 2. So, 300 divided by 2 equals uh, 150. Okay, why 2? Because the numbers from number 1 to 299 can either be odd or even. Odd or even. So, if it's not odd, it's even. If it's not even, it's odd. So, there are, two, there are only two kinds of numbers there. 300 divided by 2, that will give you 150. So, that means there are 150 odd integers. And at the same time, there are also 150 even integers. Okay, so this is 150. The next step is substitute those numbers here um, times 1 plus 299 equals uh, 150 divided by 2 is uh, 75 times 300. So 300 times 75 is equal to 22,500. And that is our answer. Okay, so let me give you uh, another example. This is the second to the last example in today's lesson. The problem is, what's the sum of the numbers divisible by 5 from 21 to 400? So our concerns are the numbers divisible by 5 from 21 to 400, okay? First, we need to identify what's the first number that is divisible by 5 from 21 to 400. Is 21 divisible by 5? Nope. How about 22? Nope. How about 23? Nope. How about 24? No again. How about 25? Yes, 25 is divisible by 5. So we will start with 25, not with 21. Okay? But the coverage of the numbers are from 21 to 400. But only those are divisible by 5. Okay? And then the last number will be, is 400 divisible by 5? Yes, it is. So we are talking about numbers from 25 to 400. So 25 is our first term and 400 is our last term. What we don't know is that how many terms are there because we need that. Remember, the formula is S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So we already know a sub 1, that's 25. We already know a sub n, that's 400. The next thing we need to know is n. So to, know for, uh, to solve for n, what we will do is we will use this formula. Okay? So this is a sub n, that's the last term, which is 400, equals the first term, which is 25, plus d. So the common difference, since uh, all of the terms are divisible by 5, the common difference is 5 times n minus 1. Next is subtract 25 on both sides. We will cancel that. This is uh, 375 equals 5n minus 5. Okay, distribute that 5 to n and 1. Next is we add 5, cancel that, we add 5 here. So this is equal to 5n equals uh, 380. Divided by 5, divided by 5, that is equal to 380 divided by 5 is equal to 76. So n is equal to 76. Okay? So now that we know n, the value of n, we can just simply plug in that here. So 76 over 2 times the first term, which is 25, and the last term, which is um, 400. 76 divided by 2 is equal to um, 38, right, times uh, 425. And that is equal to 16,150. And that is our answer. Okay, so this will be the last example in today's lesson. The problem is, find the sum of the first 100 terms in the sequence 5 plus 8 plus 14 plus, plus 11 plus 14, okay? Um, here, again, we will be using the formula S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n, okay? And we need to know all of, those, all of these three variables. Okay, n... First 100 terms, so n is 100 over 2. a sub 1 is 
5, that's the first term. Okay. Here, we don't know the last term. We don't know a sub n. Okay? So, but we already know the, the uh, formula for a sub n, right? So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus um, d times n minus 1. So, let's solve first for a sub n. So, a sub 1 is 5 plus d is, subtract this 2, that's equal to 3 times n is 100, okay, minus 1. So, this is equal to 5 plus 3 times... 99. Okay. So 3 times 99 is equal to 297. Okay. And then we add this to the answer will be um, 302. So that's 302 here. Okay. So this is equal to 500 or sorry 50 times 307 and that is equal to 15,350 uh, 15, 15, that's the answer